Hey everybody, welcome to the SMA Journey 51 series. Okay guys, I've got some errands that I need to get done this week. So Kimber's on her way over to get me, and after we finish running our errands, we're going to go by her sister Christine's house for lunch and spend some time with her family. So I'm going to take the GoPro camera with me so you guys can tag along. Hope you enjoy the day. Let's get started. Twenty minutes later. Today was one of those days where I needed to get out of the house and be around people who make me feel that life is worth living. We are told as Christians that we should be thankful for difficult moments because it's in these times we return to our faith for strength and guidance. On Friday, August the 4th, I received the news that I would not be getting any financial assistance on my copay regarding my Spinraza treatments. For nearly a month, I had been given only good news and was feeling upbeat and optimistic about my chances of starting my treatments. The news that I received on Friday shook the very foundation of my optimism and positive outlook. Five minutes after I uploaded my video, giving my subscribers and followers the news that I received, Emails from around the world began pouring in with not only prayers, but words of comfort that completely lifted me up. My two best friends in the world tried to call me, and at that time, I wasn't really in the mood to talk because I was still trying to process all of the information that I received. I eventually answered the phone, and it was Kimber on the other line. She told me that her sister Christine was in tears after watching my video and that she was trying to reach out to me. Hearing this, I immediately called Christine and told her that I was okay. I just needed a little bit of time to reflect on what had happened. In a span of about three hours, I received emails of support and comfort from subscribers in Africa, Australia, Europe, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Canada, and the United States. Reading these emails gave me a revitalized sense of thankfulness and belief that difficult news is only temporary. One of the emails was from a mother whose son is just a few weeks away from beginning his treatments. After telling her son what had happened to me, she told me that her son asked, would there be a way for me to receive his Spinraza injections instead of him getting them himself? You know, I've always been an emotional person, guilty of wearing my emotions on my sleeve. And this email brought tears to my eyes, because how can you not be thankful to a young man who is willing to give up this life-changing treatment for a complete stranger. I immediately emailed his mother and told her how truly touched I was about her son's willingness to give up his treatment for me. I also told her that she should be extremely proud of her son for who he turned out to be, because this is also a testament that she raised her son the proper way. Later that day, she called me on Skype and she told me that she was going to be speaking to her family access manager later on that day and that she was going to tell them how disappointed she was that I had been turned down for financial assistance. When I started my YouTube channel, I did it to document my journey with regards to this new treatment for spinal muscular atrophy. Along the way, I found myself documenting the journey of many other people who were going to be experiencing what we hoped would be a life-changing treatment for this genetic killer. Those that subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Twitter account became my close friends, and you still are. To receive well wishes from complete strangers from around the world reaffirmed my belief that most people around the world truly care about each other. There's an old saying that it only takes a few bad apples to ruin a bunch, and I can say with all honesty that there are no bad apples with regards to those who have kept in touch with me and became my very dear friends. I've always said that when you have me for a friend, you have me for not only the good times, but the bad times as well. If you have somebody in your life that's only there to celebrate the good times and they're not there to hold your hand and comfort you during bad times, these are really not true friends. The amount of love and support that I received over the past five or six months on my channel 
has taught me that those who I call my friends will always be there for me, no matter if it's in good times or in bad times. To say that I'm thankful would be an understatement, and getting the disappointing news that I did last Friday made me realize just how thankful I should be. For everyone who has subscribed to my channel, followed me on my Twitter account, or who have sent me emails encouraging me, I want to let you know how much I love you and how much I appreciate everything that you've done for me. I've always said that this channel is not just about me. It's about all of us. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for not only supporting my channel, but for helping me support all of you, because we are all in this together. And together, we will accomplish something that 20 years before would have been impossible to imagine. But I only put five candles on here uh, for the five. A forest fire. <laughs> Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michael. Happy birthday to you. Blow, blow, come blow, on. Blow, you're good at it. Yay! Yay! Good job, Michael. Oh, so good good job. Job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back home, and this video is officially over. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. If you did, don't forget, give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope everybody had a great day. God bless you. And until next time, bye-bye.